Hey Piscians, welcome back. I hope you guys are doing fantastic today. Thank you guys so much for your love, your support, your um, donations, and your super chats, your super thanks. I'm sending that love back to you all tenfold. Okay, so let's tap in. Let's see what's going on with my Piscians. Okay. Spirit guys, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, gods and goddesses. Please return any spell work, any dark magic that is sent to harm Pisces and their loved ones. Me and my loved ones returning back to the sender. Block any interferences that could be stopped for the messages from coming through. Clear, concise, and precise messages from my Pisceans. And protect me as I channel the messages for Pisces. Alrighty, so let's see what's going on, Pisces. What's going on for my Pisces? Okay, so we got money spills. Why the fuck was I, was I just thinking about this card? This single woman, not the committed type, sugar daddy, porn addiction. Okay, Pisces, let's see what's going on. So we have lack of emotional intelligence. Okay, so somebody is acting the damn fool. They don't know how to control their emotions. Cutting ties. Diva. You could be dealing with an Aries here, Pisces. You could be on the cusp. You could be an entertainer. Somebody could be doing a DIY project around their home. Okay, somebody's name could be Danny or Daniel. energy interference <laughs> for some of you somebody wants to stop you from being able to speak up or say something here you could be using your throat chakra a lot okay you could be dealing with a taurus pisces somebody here is a playing with fire someone loves to play with fire so something about another fire sign aries leo sag yeah maybe go watch aries and leo i did sagittarius yesterday then we have Liar here, blocked on social media and total eclipse, two souls merging together. So for some of you, somebody is getting blocked online because they looked at as a liar. Somebody is being seen as a liar. Okay, like somebody is being dumb and they're trying to shut you up, I guess what? Because you're telling the truth about their ass. So they're trying to get you to be quiet or they don't want you to be seen or whatever. Somebody could be trying to report your shit or a shadow, a ban you. Yeah, eight of wands because you're saying something. You're saying something here, and it's the truth. So let's see. One more time. All right, uh, I'm about to call you Cappy. Okay, you can be dealing with a Capricorn, Pisces. Or you can have that in your chart. So two of swords, bottom of the deck, Libra moon. So yeah, this is like a lot of emo emotional and mental turmoil. Two of swords reverse with the three of swords upright. This person is, they going through it. It could be a Libra, strong Libra, Libra Saturn, Libra moon. Somebody here. There are some things that's coming out about someone that is causing a breakup or is causing someone to really look at someone differently. Just period. What's lack of emotional intelligence? Okay, the king of wands in the reverse. Leo energy. What's lack of emotional intelligence with the king of wands reverse? Seven of pentacles. So yeah, I feel like... <laughs> This person, whoever this is right here is bitter. This King of Wands in the reverse is very bitter. They could be very competitive as well. So they could be competing with you um, as far as like your relationships goes. This person doesn't want to take accountability for their actions. So they could be acting a certain kind of way or whatever. Okay, I don't know. But they are bitter though. This person could have been also abusive or very lazy too they they don't have any goals or ambitions somebody has a false leader they want to be seen as a leader so bad but they're not just period and the seven of pentacles towards saturn so somebody is invested into something 
Okay, there's growth or expansion somewhere. There's something that you're nurturing. Hmm. Some of you guys are getting ready to make an investment somewhere else. This is wealth as well as inheritance. So let's see, what's the King of Wands in reverse? Some of you guys could have a brother here that's in competition with you, your own brother. Okay, child, look at the two men coming out. King of Swords. So this could be a father and, and son duo thing or uh, a brother, two brothers here going at it or whatever this is. But um, there could be something going on in court or with the, the law. This could be a judge, a lawyer. Okay. This could be Archangel Michael too. That's right. That's showing up. Excuse me, to protect you from this person. What's this King of Wands reverse King of Swords? Yeah, the Ace of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay, so I feel like you're making the right decision as far as you moving on. Or, um, yeah, you're getting some sort of clarity about who's who and what's what, okay? Some of y'all are making the right decision as far as picking who the fuck you're going to pick. Because this King of Wands, they ain't it. They could be competing with this damn King of Swords. This King of Swords here ain't the one to be played with. This person is a leader. They lead with integrity. They have respect. They have morals. Okay, they value their they time. They don't like wasting their damn time. So somebody, for some of you, somebody could be getting some sort of clarity around what's actually going on with this King of Wands reverse. This person could be... Um, studying you this king of swords ace of swords could be studying they're getting the truth around what's actually going on here somebody here is finding out that you have a bitter baby daddy or somebody bitter around you but someone else try to make it seem like that you were still dealing with someone else is what i'm getting like you were still dealing with this king of wands in reverse with this king of wands in reverse you don't want to be with them they're competing they're competing you're not with them so this is what this person could be finding out there's some sort of truth here coming out about this or like I said, this could be your own brother competing with you and you're realizing it. Okay, what's the King of Swords? The Three of Wands. Yeah, so this is a sense of foresight. Feeling confident and self-assured about moving on, moving forward. This could be who you're moving forward with. Or this King of Swords is getting foresight or insight, or insight into something about an abuser of yours for some of you. I'm getting... This person could be feeling like there's a need to protect you from someone... Maybe they feel energetically, they can feel the energy of someone here. Okay, you and this person could be at a distance. But there is growth and expansion here. But I feel like they're getting some sort of foresight or they have insight on something. What's the three, What's the king of swords with the three of wands? Yeah, the page of swords. Yeah, they're watching you. This person is watching you or they're watching over you or something like that. So they're getting insight on something and it's helping them to make some sort of decision. I feel like it's about a king of wands reverse. They're seeing that you have somebody bitter around you. So they feel the need to protect you or they just understand something now about your journey, about your life that could potentially be helping them about their own life. But somebody's watching you from a distance. They could be coming towards you to speak up about something. What's the ace of swords? That's like clarity. That's an aha moment or something is clicking. Yeah, the strength card, Leo energy. <clears throat> oh, I just heard my lips. What's the Ace of Swords with the strength card? Two of Pentacles reverse. And the Ten of Cups. Yeah, so. So the strength card, somebody is overcoming something here. Somebody is gaining the confidence and the strength to overcome something. Two of Pentacles in the reverse is something that's imbalanced or something that's chaotic, is messy, it's out of control. Somebody is watching you speak up against some sort of injustice here. For some of you, somebody's going to court about some shit. Because maybe there's a witness or somebody is speaking up against what some, what happened to them. So the Fed, the feds could be watching somebody. <laughs> mm -hmm. But I, I just know something, this, this could be like indecisiveness here or something is just out of control. It just is. 
this could be in regards to somebody's finances or whatever but something has just gotten messy because someone is finally overcoming something and speaking their truth like heavy standing their ground raising their standards setting strong boundaries here being real strict about their energy and their time being wasted somebody here somebody here just don't want their time to be wasted so i feel like this person for some of you this person is coming to invest in you with the ten of cups the more you say the more it's hoping somebody here realize something this could be this person realizing that you guys are supposed to be in a divine connection with the ten of cups pisces okay there, there's something that's clicking it's like somebody's having an aha moment yeah the eight of wands and the ace of pentacles reverse so, because this is a wholeness and completion, a, um, a divine love here, happiness, joy, and bliss. So, yeah, I feel like this is, let's see, what's the Two of Pentacles reverse then? Because I feel like this is upsetting. Okay, Page of Cups. Something could be coming out about somebody's family member or a child. Somebody here left the trail of mess. They, they did something that's just it can't be and it can't be balanced or this is somebody too that's really inflexible okay yeah that that's that's what it's giving me too somebody is like inflexible or they're not open to something because the two of pentacles is flexibility it's adaptability somebody is not or has not been open to something but now they're saying that they should be okay for some of you somebody's really been really acting childish though somebody's acting childish as hell because you admire someone or you, you know what I'm saying? You see someone as someone that's the truth, that's truthful or honest or sincere. Like this is you wanting to maybe open up and be more vulnerable. Or you're admiring somebody from afar because you don't have too much clarity. But I feel like now you're getting ready to get clarity about someone. It's all getting ready to make sense. What's two of Pentacles reverse page of cups? Some of you guys also have a bright idea here. You have something that you want to start working on. It's a gift that you have. Yeah, so the five of wands. So this is somebody being open. This is somebody being open here with the page of cups and the five of wands reverse. Somebody wants to squash some sort of conflict or apologize to you about something. But maybe they feel like you're not going to be open to it or something like that. There's something that's imbalanced here. Mm. somebody is finding out where the imbalance is coming from why why they can't seem to do what they need to do with you or something <laughs> you know it's like why am i admiring this person from afar and i really like them like i really want to open up to them and talk to them but why is everything so yeah to a cup somebody here likes you they're in love with you like what the fuck okay yeah so what's what's the uh seven of pentacles or somebody sees you as innocent here. Because maybe somebody was conflicted about you. They looked at you a certain way. Yeah, there's a smear campaign here. Or, or, or people around you or this person or both of y'all that have ill intentions for the both of y'all. So somebody here was confused. Yeah, page of pentacles in the reverse. What's seven of pentacles too is like somebody reviewing something. They're taking a second look at something. They're second guessing. What's the Seven of Pentacles with the Page of Pentacles reverse? They're, so they're seeing you as innocent in the situation. Yeah, the devil. Somebody here on some, some dark shit. So the Seven of Pentacles is this person. Somebody's looking at someone as the devil. They're looking at someone as participating in some sort of devilment. Or they're seeing something differently about like tarot readings or magic because this page of pentacles reverse with the devil is definitely a lot of dark magic here this is also a lot of divination spying or somebody's doing like a hell of a hell of a lot of it okay we got capricorn here towards virgo so yeah somebody is taking a second look at something or putting two and two together they looking at something here yeah somebody here trying to call someone a self-sabotage reunion or trying to fuck with somebody's stability their security Somebody's doing magic on someone's like wealth and stuff like that. There's a lot of obsession here. <laughs> okay, yeah. So someone is also they they really somebody's really learning about magic here. 
and what 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 kind of stuff has been going on here and what somebody i feel like somebody lied and said that you were doing dark magic and they the ones sitting up here doing it somebody here with the seven of pentacles page of pentacles reversing the devil uh, someone is trying to block someone from taking action towards you they're trying to fuck up the communication or fuck something up Someone is causing chaos here. <laughs> this is a mess. What's this devil? Yeah, the world reverse. Yeah, something here failed. There's definitely a plan or a strategy here that failed for sure. Um, you could have, this could be Archangel Michael too that's watching over you because you could have, there's a warlock here doing this shit to you. You can have something that you really want to do, but you you can't seem to get off the ground with it or something. Yeah, page of wands, ten of swords. So just be mindful of that. Try to stay grounded. It's something that you're dreaming about, fantasizing about, but you can't seem to get it off the ground. It's, it's havoc or chaos or something. What's the devil with the world reverse? If something here failed, yeah, ten of wands. Something here failed. Or this is like having to cut your losses, a disappointment. Okay, an underachiever with the world reverse. And somebody now is burdened away the fuck down. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles reverse, Nine of Cups in the reverse. <laughs> Child. Someone to have a sad Saturn. What's the Page of Pentacles reverse? Nine of Swords. Gemini Mars here. So somebody is nervous or they stressed. They're watching a hell of a lot of tarot. Or this is the magic that they're trying to do to confuse you, to cause you stress and burden. Whoever this is, this is the emotionally, in, you know, this is the person that lacks emotional intelligence. This damn Queen of Cups. All because somebody is following their heart and bringing you an offer. This person getting on my nerves. What's Page of Pentacles reverse Nine of Swords? Same hole came out of Aries reading. Six of Cups. So somebody is nervous about something that they did in the past or they're nervous about somebody here actually admiring you or wanting to be around you or wanting to be with you, okay? Somebody could also be realizing that a child ain't theirs. They didn't put money and time and effort and invested a lot into this child that's not even theirs. All because they don't want to take the responsibility for their actions. They running around having sex with multiple motherfuckers or they cheating in the baby. Like it's a whole bunch of shit going on, real shit. Somebody is nervous about you reconciling with someone or somebody think about the past or they're trying to make you think about them in the past or something like that. Yeah, the, the hermit, the eight of wands here and the king of cups. Yeah, this person. Is... Somebody here is like, <laughs> they getting on my damn nerves. Yeah, like confirmation about them getting on my damn nerves. <laughs> What's... What the fuck is this cutting ties? The lovers reverse, period. A disunion, just period. A disunion, there's discord and disharmony here. This is somebody that just, they have major trust issues. They don't want to take accountability for what the fuck they did. So you're cutting ties. You don't want to be with them. This this person probably already chose the wrong lover as well. They already with somebody that they don't want to be with. So what's cutting ties with the lovers reverse? The emperor reverse. Yeah, look at this damn person. Definitely go watch Aries. This person likes to abuse their power and position of authority. This person here could also be a deadbeat or their half-assed daddy or mama. They do just enough for you to keep your mouth shut or whatever the fuck, y'all. <laughs> for some of you, you are not the child's, you know, you are not the father of a child here. There could be some paternity issues going on as well. Somebody definitely nervous about the about a child. My stomach just growled loud as hell. They're nervous about a child or something is going on with somebody's inner child is being affected. But yeah, like. What's the Emperor reverse? This person could also not be sure about their sexuality. 
We got Virgo energy with the Knight of Pentacles. What's the Emperor reverse with the Knight of Pentacles? Two of Wands. So yeah, you know, every every time it feels like somebody, yeah, four of wands, I feel like somebody is coming towards you. Four of wands, the hermit, the eight of wands, and the king of cups. This emperor right here just keeps on popping up. For what? For some of you, this is a bitch here as a man that tried to slow you down to try to get you to provide for them, and you ain't even the, the child's father. They know that you're want that you're wanting to go forward or you're wanting to do something with your life, something else. And they want to keep you stuck or whatever the fuck this is. <laughs> then I see a karmic masculine here. This person, they're in com they're in heavy competition with a particular person that's coming towards you. Like you, um, something here um, was at a stalemate or was moving really, really slow. There's a partnership here. You've been waiting for somebody to come through or come in. You've been anticipating an offer and then here this bitch goes showing up. Knight of Pentacles is someone that's a hard worker. They always finish what they start. They make promises that they keep or whatever. But maybe somebody was trying to make you look at this person differently because of a lie. Somebody here lied and said, oh, baby is yours. Or, oh, you need to do this. You need to do that to slow this person down. <clears throat> it's just a mess. What's the lover's reverse? So I feel like you're cutting ties to this person or this is uh, your person doing this. Four of Swords. What's the level reverse? Four of Swords. Libra, Jupiter. And the Page of Wands. Yeah, something about children is significant. But, uh... <clears throat> so, I feel, I feel like this person is in your energy heavy Aries. Be, I mean, Pisces, sorry. Because they see that you're moving on. Like, they feel a disconnect with your energy. So, they keep trying to make themselves relevant or show up. This person needs to go sit down. They don't even have the energy to even compete with whatever this is coming in for you. This is like, this person here, Knight of Pentacles, Two of Wands, somebody is making plans for you and them. And this Emperor in the reverse, they're going to have to go somewhere and they're going to have to go. I feel like this person made a wrong decision or they're not sure about their sexuality. They have trust issues. They don't want to take accountability. I feel like this person is still asleep. Okay. They went off and they had new and exciting plans with someone else. While they were unawakened or whatever, they were sleeping with somebody damn else, and there's a child that they got too involved. I feel like you don't want this person. They don't even take care for some of you, they don't even take care of a child. This person don't even claim their other child. You don't want to have shit to do with them, but they're trying to interfere in your energy. Absolutely not. Absolutely the fuck not. They keep trying to make themselves relevant. No. I feel like this is you healing as well. Four of Swords, you're healing. This is, um, you can have good news coming in and everything like that. And this person is just showing up. It's like, what, what, what? <laughs> I just don't understand why they're showing up. It's like they're just here. They're not doing anything but just showing up to make you what? Think about them or be like, oh, okay, well, here you are. Like, we don't want to see you, honey. No. It's like they, for some of you, they they dating somebody else. They already got a child with somebody and everything, and they still looking at you. It's like no, yeah, the fool, the queen of swords reverse, knight of swords in the reverse, three of cups reverse. Okay. It kind of feels like too the person that they with don't want them to even be chasing you or looking your way. And I just feel like okay, well get your man then. If you don't want that shit to happen, you need to be doing a better job at keeping this nigga because they is too busy trying to chase after me and I'm trying to move on. This is what I'm getting, Pisces. <laughs> like what? Yeah, you're manifesting a boss. Period. The magician and the king of pentacles are they manifesting your ass? But you manifesting somebody that wants to be loyal. They want to be a provider and protector, and they coming with some money on. Period. Like, you don't want to be bothered? What's Diva? But for some of you guys, if you're a man here and somebody here had a baby on you and you left their ass, they with somebody that's a deadbeat. They made the wrong decision. So I feel like you're leaving them to their own vices here with that deadbeat and they're going to have to deal with it. They try to get you to stay held back to take care of a child that's not yours. No. What's Diva? Six of Swords here and the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody trying to get you to stop being focused on what the fuck you need to be doing. Okay, this could be somebody here trying to ruin this diva's reputation. Not knowing that you're spiritually guided, you're divinely guided with the Six of Swords. But this is where you're supposed to be going or 
something like that. What's the Eight of Pentacles reverse? Somebody keep on doing something over and over again. Some of you guys, as an entertainer, you're supposed to be... You could be getting bored with something that you're doing or something that you're doing is kind of like wearing off um, because it's time for you to go towards something or someone else. I feel like maybe this could be a new career path. Maybe you're getting bored or something like that. But what's the Eight of Pentacles reverse? Yeah, Nine of Pentacles reverse. Somebody tried to defame you here. There's a social climbing ass bitch and a dark magic using asshole doing this shit here. But somebody tried to defame you with a miserable ass. This person is non-committal. They're miserable. They got addictions and all kind of shit. Very conceited, cocky, arrogant person that tried to like do this shit here to you. And now they want to show up in your energy for what? They don't want to take accountability for shit that they did, but they're showing up in your energy. It's crazy. What's Eight of Pentacles reverse, Nine of Cups reverse? So somebody ain't getting their wishes fulfilled and they can't even focus on anything that they're doing because it's like they can't get over the fact that you're moving on. They just cannot do it. This could definitely be a distorted masculine with the sun reverse. Leo energy. So somebody is not too enthused or, or not too happy. They, they oppressed. They're stuck. They're oppressed. <laughs> yeah, something's just out of control. The chariot reverse with the three of swords. That you're getting this ten of pentacles. They mad as hell that you're getting this. Like dead ass. This person do not want you to be getting whatever the fuck this is. At all. No new relationships. No nothing. No money. No, no nothing. They want you to be like them. Broke and raggedy. Somebody is miserable. What's the six of swords? <laughs> What's six of swords? Ace of Cups reverse. Yeah, doom and gloom for somebody. Somebody is sad as hell. A lot of repressed and oppressed emotions here. I feel like when somebody had a chance to say what they needed to say to you, they should have said it. But instead, they wanted to turn up on you and act dumb as fuck with a smear campaign and ended up with a bitch that they stuck with. I feel like it's. I feel like you don't. You don't want it. Yeah, something here is protected. Seven of Wands and the Two of Cups. You're fighting for something here, and somebody is in their head about it. Eight of Swords. What's the Six of Swords here with the Ace of Cups reverse? I feel like you're moving on from unrequited love. Something is unrequited, and you know that. Yeah, the Empress in the reverse. And the Hangman reverse. Pisces here. We got Taurus Libra. So, yeah, I feel like for some of you, I'm getting this is a karmic masculine that is with an Empress in reverse. They chose the wrong person. So now, yeah, the Empress reverse, Emperor reverse. Or this could be you're in a union, a twin flame relationship with someone. And this is just giving you a backstory of your Emperor going through, your masculine going through something with a false flame. And you going through something with your false flame. But if this is a karmic couple, this is what they stuck with. This person is emotionally immature, just like they ass. They the same thing. So now they stuck. This is negative patterns on repeat. Somebody needs to learn to stop dealing with hoes like this and to change their ways. And this person sitting up here trying to compete with you while also, or compete with your masculine while also not taking accountability for what the fuck they did to you in the first place. Like, that's crazy. So your spirit team is moving you forward. Like, they had a chance to heal or get right and they didn't. They're unfocused. They don't want to do the healing work. They try to ruin your reputation. Like, what, what more do you want, sir? The fuck? Or girl, whoever the fuck the hoe is. That hoe is not gender specific. <laughs> they can't birth nothing new with this in percent of reverse. This could be to an unplanned pregnancy or an unwanted one. They instead of parent got this hoe pregnant, now they now they stuck with her. Or him, or whatever this is. They're so disinterested in this person. Like it's really eating their ass up that they, that they stuck with somebody that they're disinterested in. They do not want this person at all. Or this could be a karmic feminine that just can't believe that somebody's disinterested in their ass. This is like, girl, what's energy interference? The Wheel of Fortune, yeah, things are getting very changed with this. Ain't no more energy interference. Things are getting very changed with this here. I feel like things are turning, are working out in your favor here. Uh, 
Pisces, and I just feel like people just trying to get in your way, just like they always do. But something is truly getting ready to come in. Whatever is fated to happen is fated to happen. What's energy interference with the Wheel of Fortune? You got good karma coming in. Uh, yeah, five of swords. Not somebody here trying to get on your nerves or cause you to self-sabotage or be confused or whatever. Trying to bully you or just trying to win at all costs because they know you got good karma coming in. You're not confused. Seven of Cups reversed. Seven of Wands upright in the damn Two of Cups. You see something very clear. They ask, they know they're in for a root of awakening and they're blocked, period. They're blocked out of your energy for good. What's the Wheel of Fortune? This is very straight to the point. Like, I don't... Yeah, the chariot. So being triumphant, successful, victorious, period. Yep. Pushing through many, many obstacles here and you, you've won. You've gotten some sort of victory. What's the Wheel of Fortune with the Chariot? Cancer Energy and the Five of Pentacles. Yeah, now somebody feels left out in the cold. They stressed the fuck out. They broke. They're burdened. Okay. The Star Reverse, Eight of Cups in the Reverse, Five of Cups. This person is just so sad. <laughs> it could be multiple people here that say, I feel like there's two. Maybe it could be your karmic ex and your twin flames or your person's karmic ex. Or who, the person that you married to or want to be with. They exes. Y'all exes are just upset. <sighs> what's the five of swords so you guys can see in five 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 going through a lot of changes but there's also conflict yeah the magician child and the king of pentacles came out you manifesting a boss period or this boss is manifesting your ass you manifesting somebody here that's marriage material they want to get married have you know start a family start a business somebody here manifesting a lot of damn money Okay, this person is very grounded, secure with themselves. Like, that's what the fuck you want. And somebody here attacking you. The tower with the three of cups reversed, knight of swords in the reverse, queen of cups reversed. Or this is this person's ex doing it too. It's just ridiculous, you know. Same old, same old. Queen of swords reverse. It is, it is what it is, you know. It is what the fuck it is, like. I'm not, I don't, I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> They're getting on my nerves. Real shit. Give me a card here for Pisces. So your manifestation is coming through. So you need to stay on track. Don't be self-sabotaging. You need to fight back. Okay, period. However that, it, however that means for you. I know you're not childish. So I know you're not trying to fight back physically. You know, unless somebody put their hands on you. But... Keep moving forward, Pisces. Archangel Raphael, intuition, health, and healing. Archangel Metatron, spiritual power, sacred geometry, and esoteric wisdom. Okay, let's see. Archangel Raphael appears in many of the world's religious texts and belief systems, including Judaism. Islam and Christianity, and he is a central figure for the Church of Jesus Christ of Later Day Saints. His name means God heals, and he is recognized as a healing angel in many religions and spiritual belief systems, as well as being available to call on for any kinds of healing, such as physical healing, emotional healing, heart healing, spiritual energetic healing. Raphael is also considered a patron saint of medical workers and healers, travelers and sailors, and a protector of pilgrims. Archangel Raphael aligns with the third eye and heart chakras. He can help you gain a deeper understanding of unity, consciousness, and to know that whatever you heal within yourself, you also do for others. So it says for your oracle, give yourself permission to rest and heal. Take time for your own self-healing. You cannot drink from an empty cup, period. So for your love and relationships, it says be patient and kind to yourself. Give yourself time to heal any heartache or heartbreak you have experienced in this life or in past lives. Hold on to the lessons and blessings of the past and let the rest go. For your work, it says burnout is not a badge of honor. Make sure you have plenty of time to rest and recharge so you can show up for your work feeling excited and inspired. For your home, do whatever you can to make your home feel like a sacred space where you can rest and recharge. For your money, focus on healing your relationship with money. For your well-being, eat well and exercise to feel better physically, emotionally, and spiritually. And for your spirituality, learn about and practice he energy healing. Give yourself some energy healing by visualizing green light in your hands and place your hands intuitively on any area of your body. 
So it says, call on Archangel Raphael for assistance with physical, emotional, mental, energetic, past life, or spiritual healing of any kind, your health and fitness journey, breaking free from addictions of any kind, opening your third eye, seeing the love and light in others. And it says, embody the energy of Archangel Raphael by prioritizing your own healing journey, taking responsibility for your own health and wellness, and making the changes you know you need to make, looking after yourself energetically, mentally, and emotionally, practicing self-healing, self-care, and self-love, and healing others. Period. Archangel Raphael is showing up. Okay. So, I feel like your person, if that's your person right there, that King of Pentacles, whoever you're manifesting or they're manifesting you or whatever, they coming through. <laughs> like, they coming through real serious for commitment. Like, King of Pentacles are like nothing temporary. They make sure. That's why they're coming up as the King of Swords, Ace of Swords. Because, or oh, this is your spirit team giving you some sort of anxiety into what's, I mean, this is your spirit team giving you some sort of clarity into what's going on. Could be with anxiety. Somebody could be trying to give you anxiety. But I, I really don't even feel like it's working. For some of you, it's working. For others of you, I feel like you don't give a fuck. Ain't nothing bothering you. Like, that. ass. Somebody here trying to, they could be trying to, like, um... Do something with your love life as far as make you go into different connections or situations with magic that don't align with your morals and values. They want you to pick the wrong level like they did. I feel like you're not. I feel like this person, they need to leave you alone. Dead ass. So anyways, Pisces, this was your reading. I hope this reading resonated for you all. Like, comment, subscribe, turn your notification bell on, press the all button so you won't miss my reads. And I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.